Hi, hello, welcome back to another session of our first subject wise MCQ series. Okay, today's session is about the important MCQs from the subject DSBM, that is the truck store and business management. Actually, it is a subject which I skipped from our first subject wise MCQ series. Now, it is prepared on the general basis, so it is helpful for all the competitive exams related to pharmacy. Okay, then let's check out the questions and answers. First question, the technique used to find out how much of the inventory is to be ordered. So option A is ABC analysis, B E O Q, then C input output ratio analysis and D perpetual inventory system. Now you can answer the question. Correct answer is option B. EOQ that is economic order quantity then the next question in a partnership business the number of partners should not exceed more than options are option A 25 B 30 C 20 and option D 5 correct answer is option C 20 then the third question, the pharmaceutical industry is covered under dash industries. Option A, extractive industries, B, genetic industries, C, construction industries and option D, manufacturing industries. Correct answer is option D, manufacturing industries. Then fourth question, the foreign trade is conducted mostly on wholesale and is subdivided into option A import trade and export trade, B import trade and entry port trade, option C import export entry port trade and option D none. Correct answer is option C import export entry port trade. Okay, the word trade means buying, selling and exchange of goods and trade may be described as the nucleus of commercial activity which is classified into internal trade and international trade or foreign trade. Then internal trade is again subdivided into wholesale trade and retail trade. Then the international trade or foreign trade is again subdivided into import trade, export trade and entry port trade. Okay, the next question, the product of an industry are called dash if used in production of other goods. Option A, producer goods, B, capital goods, C, consumer goods and D, both A and B. Correct answer is option D, both A and B. The product of an industry are called consumer goods if used by the final consumer and the products are called producer goods or capital goods if used in production of other goods. Next question, dash remove the hindrance of finance and credit. Option A, insurance, B, banking, C, transport and D, warehousing. Correct answer is option B, banking. Actually, the various activities pertaining to trade are banking, transport, insurance, warehousing and banking. Then banking removes the hindrance of finance and credit. Transport system removes the hindrance of place. Insurance removes the hindrance of risk. Warehousing removes the hindrance of time. And banking removes hindrance of risk of spoilage. Then question number seven. Three levels of pharmaceutical management are Option A, primary, secondary, tertiary management. B, top, middle, lower level management. Option C, first, second, third level management. And option D, none of the above. Correct answer is option B, top, middle and lower level management. The word management denotes the process of conducting and managing various business activities. When the principles and practice of management are applied to pharmaceutical industry and drugstore, it is known as pharmaceutical management. Then there are three levels of management. There are the top level management, middle level management and the lower level management. Top level management consists of board of directors and managing directors. 
Then the middle level management consists of the departmental heads and branch managers. Then lower level management consists of supervisory management and section officers. Then question number 8. A book of original entry is called option A ledger, B journal, C cash book and option D none. Correct answer is option B journal. Actually, ledger is a book containing all the accounts to which entries are transferred from the book of original entry. Then journal is a basic book of original entry. Then cash book is a book which is used to record all cash receipts and payment. Then question number 9. Indian Contract Act was passed in Option A 1992, Option B 1872, Option C, 1972 and Option D, 1892. Correct answer is Option B, 1872. Then question number 10. The oldest form of business organization is Option A, Joint Stock Company, B, Sole Proprietorship, C, Partnership and Option D, All the above. Correct answer is option B, sole proprietorship. Then question number 11, purchase intent is an option A, internal document, B, external document, C, legal document and option D, none. Correct answer is option A, internal document. Then question number 12, the business organization runs as a partnership is called option A, corporation. B. Joint Business, C. Firm and Option D. Partnership. Correct answer is Option C. Firm. Then question number 13. The document containing partnership agreement is called Option A. Partnership Data, B. Partnership Document, C. Partnership Deed and Option D. Agreement. Correct answer is Option C. Partnership Deed. The partnership is formed on the basis of an agreement between the concerned persons. The partnership agreement may be oral, written or implied between the persons joining together in a partnership. Then the documents containing the agreement are called partnership deed. Then question number 14. The partner doesn't take any active part in the management of the firm's business. Option A. Partner by Estopel. Option B. Minor partner. Option C, secret partner and option D, sleeping partner. Correct answer is option D, sleeping partner. The partners of a firm may be divided into, that means the kinds of partners are active or working partner, sleeping or inactive partner, nominal partner, partner in profit only, secret partner, minor partner and partner by s -topel. Then question number 15. Multiple shop is otherwise called option A departmental store, B chain store, C both and option D none. Correct answer is option B chain store. The departmental stores offers wide variety of products of various manufacturers to satisfy the need of customers. Then the multiple shops generally sell a particular type of product of particular manufacturer. Question number 16. The layout of a drugstore is according to Option A. Convenience of pharmacist B. Specifications mentioned in Schedule N Option C. Availability of space and Option D. All the above. Correct answer is option B, specifications mentioned in Schedule N. Then question number 17, mention the items which cannot be represented by inventory carrying cost. Option A, salaries of storekeeper, B, paper and its typings, C, rent of storage and option D, losses in storage. Correct answer is option B, paper and its typing. Question number 18. Multiple shops deals in option A. All type of goods. B. Same type of goods. C. Specified same type of goods. And option D. Specified type of goods. Correct answer is option C. Specified same type of goods. Then next question. Contracts is also called option A. Purchase order. 
B. Supply order C. Both and option D. None Correct answer is option C. Both that is the purchase order and supply order that is after the selection of supplier a mutual agreement is done between the supplier and the buyer and that agreement is called contract then question number 20 the item constitute 20 percentage of the total quantity of inventories and 20 percentage of the total expenditure of inventories are called option a a item b b items c c items and option d both a and b Correct answer is option B, B items. Actually, in a big truck store, large inventory items are stored. In order to maintain a proper control of inventories, the ABC technique is used. ABC analysis means always better control analysis. In this technique, the materials are divided into three groups. They are A, B and C. That is the A items are a few costly items and these items may not be more than 10% of the total items but these consume about 70% of the total budget of inventories. Then the B items are neither costly nor cheap and the C items are comparatively cheaper in cost and these items represent 70% of the total quantity of the inventories and 10% of the total expenditure of inventories. Then question number 21. The perpetual inventory systems comprises of Option A. Bin card B. Store ledger C. Continuous stock taking Option D. All the above Correct answer is Option D. All the above the perpetual inventory system is a method of recording the store balance after every receipt and issue to facilitate regular checking and to prevent closing down of stock taking. Then question number 22. Steps taken to detect slow and non-moving items. Option A. Periodic report and moving ratio. B. Obsolete items. C. Both A and B. And option D. None. Correct answer is option C, both A and B. Then question number 23. The relation between quantities of materials charged to the production process and the quantities of the materials in the final output is called option A, I-O ratio, B, safety stock, C, stock ratio and option D, reorder ratio. Correct answer is option A, I-O ratio. I-O ratio means input-output ratio which determines the efficiency of the manufacturing department. Then question number 24. The formula for calculating the reorder level is that is the reorder level is equal to minimum consumption during the period in due. Option A. Minimum reorder period. B. Maximum reorder period. C. Normal consumption per week. And option D. Average delivery time. Correct answer is option B, maximum reorder period. Then question number 25, the color of insignia of pharmacy. Option A, red cross, B, white cross, C, blue cross and option D, green cross. Correct answer is option D, green cross. That's all for today's session. Please comment your suggestions in the comment box and Make your subscription now. Please give a thumbs up. Thank you so much.